Sciatica or SI joint pain suck. Here are three exercises that you can do at home to help get rid of that sciatica or SI joint pain. So the first one that we're gonna do is a wall squat with our toes kind of faced in. You're gonna go hands against the wall. You're actually gonna get into a little bit of a squat kind of push your hips back at a diagonal. You might feel a little bit of stretch in the outside of your right hip, and then you're just gonna stand up out of it. You're gonna do the same thing, just kind of slide and back to the left. Another pro tip, you wanna get more activation out of your glutes, is to spread the floor with your feet, or imagine you're spreading the floor with your feet, that'll prime those hips a little bit better and give you more activation of your glutes. Exercise number two is a banded walk uffle. So squat walk combination to again help prime those glutes and open up that space around the SI joint. Keep tension and just go on a little sidewalk. A little big step, little step, big step, little step, big step, little step. After a few seconds, you're gonna feel those hips talk to you right off the bat. Options to make this a little bit harder is to take it at your ankles. If that feels a little bit too easy, take it the ankle height, same thing, big step, little step. The last one that we're gonna do is actually a little bit of mobility to help stretch out that hip. We're gonna prop your leg up, we'll back, keep the knee slightly bent and push your hips back. That'll help get a little bit more hip mobility, lessen the calf, drive those hips back slowly into it. Gently kind of pushing the heel into the chair. It's gonna prime and activate some more of those tissues. If I want a little bit more intensity, take your hands and twist over that front leg. Again, that's gonna open up more of that hip and open up more away from the SI joint.